Hi fitness friends, today I have a butt building and ab burnout for us to do. It should take us about 40 minutes. I'll be using a lower step set at about 12 inches. So if you have a small step stool or a plyo box that you can set lower, grab it and get it ready to go. If not, you can do all of these moves right on the ground and I'll remind you of that during our routine. Other than that, I'm gonna use a lighter set of weights like nine pounds for each hand and a heavier set, so like 24 pounds in each hand. Um, if you don't have weights, try to find something that's heavy that you can use in your house. Like I'll be using a two 24 pound dumbbells to do my deadlifts. You could grab a bag and fill it full of books or you could have a gallon jug of water. Anything that you can find that'll make that move harder for you. Okay, other than that, get warmed up, get some water, and let's get ready to get in here. All right, everyone, I hope you're all warmed up and ready to go. We're gonna get started on our first group of five. I always put my moves in groups of five. Um, the first, I'm gonna just demo really quickly. It's what I call a curtsy lunge up and over the bench. <laughs> so what you're gonna be doing is start off in like a staggered squat type position, and you're gonna come up and tap down over. Make sure you get a nice deep lunge. Make sure that knee's not going over your toe and try to keep your hips facing forward. Okay, so we're going up and over. I'm gonna attempt to hold a weight for this first round for this. So, I'm gonna get 15 pounds. Just hold one weight, one 15 pound weight. And, turn this up. Okay. Our 10 second countdown has started. I'm gonna start, start right here on my left leg. Squat down and up and over. Make sure you're really squeezing that glute with that leg when you're raising it behind you. Do like a, a nice big glute raise arc over top of the back of your step or your bench. Before I had my plyo box, I used um, my little kid's step stools the ones I used to brush their teeth at night to do this move. Keep your chest up, especially if you're holding that weight. Whole body is tight, your abs are tight. Oh, I really feel this burn in my glute. Five. Nice work, you're switching it out. So you're starting on the other side in that staggered squat position. Here we go. Nice work. Squeeze that butt. I almost get like a cramp in my glute when I do this. The, from the leg that I'm kicking up and it works, I squeeze it like mad. You can swing your leg and you will not feel your butt working. I mean, you'll feel it on the supporting leg, but if you just swing that leg that you're kicking up and over, you're not gonna get the benefit of that nice big arc glute raise. Stay with it. Next, we are doing a weighted squat jump and a press up. So, hold your weight out in front of you, chest level. Jump up, jump back, squat and press. So you wanna land softly in a squat position and then press it up. What, honey? Okay. My weight is still at 15 pounds, and my higher box is still only at 12 inches. You can raise this up if you wanna make it more of a challenge for yourself. Okay, good work. Next, we're moving on to Bulgarians. You're gonna be holding one weight and the hand that you're lunging forward with. So 
the side of my left since that's the side I'm on. You can see, hold that weight nice and steady. And you're down and up. We're only holding one weight this round. For this, for this routine in Bulgarians, puts a different type of stress on that muscle. Then even weight really engages your core. So make sure you're standing up straight and tall. Stay with it. Nice work. Yeah. Okay, switch hands and switch legs. I'm holding my one heavy weight for this. If you don't have a step, you're doing these right on the floor. Just spread your legs nice and far apart. Do that nice deep lunge. Do you want to hold as heavy as a weight as you can if you want to build up that butt muscle? Stay with it, 15 seconds. Start on this leg, on my right leg. 
Here we go. Nice controlled movements. Feel that squeeze in your butt muscle. Make sure you're breathing. Stay with it. Keep your pace steady. Okay, switch legs. Whew. Switch hands, switch legs. There you go. Squat it down. Keep your chest up, nice and tall. Your abs are engaged with the single weight. Make sure you step far and far enough that your knee's not going over your toe. shaping exercise. We're on our hands and knees. We're doing um, ceiling shots. Before you get started, I want to show you one quick move. This is something slightly new. You've all seen me do kick-throughs before. We're doing a kick-through. Step up, hand to foot, kick through, and when we come back up, we're kicking over and kicking through. Up, over. Kind of like a donkey kick, kick-through. So, this um, move is called an animal flow kick through or donkey kick through, whatever you want to call it, works. Just do it. It's a good move, it's strong, core building move. Okay. Whew, enough talking, let's go. 10 second countdown, hands and knees, ceiling stomps. So, three, let's go. Get whatever leg up you want to start with, your foot is flat, You're stomping that ceiling, really squeeze through that glute. Your abs are tight, your back is flat, your flat table, except for that leg that's stomping the ceiling. We're doing 50 seconds on this side, 50 seconds on the other side, and then we're moving on. Don't underestimate the burn these little range of motion movements can give you. Oh man, I feel it right now in my glute. Whew. Stay with it. Breathe it out. Okay, full stretch. We're moving on to the other leg. Here we go. Get that foot up, nice flat foot. Stomp that ceiling. This is like a pulse at the top of this motion. Very small, like six inches, you're going up and down. Really squeezing through your glute, your butt muscle. Don't just swing your leg. Really focus that movement. Keep your stomach sucked in. Keep that knee up, come on. Stay with me. Whew. Nice work. Whew, stretch it out. Okay, we're doing this animal flow kick through. So get your mat out of the way. Unless you're in this area where you're not going to trip on it. Okay, down your plank. Foot up, 
Kick it through. Now kick that leg over. Kick through. Get your range of motion set so that you're not gonna kick anything in your leg. Try to keep your abs tight throughout this whole movement. Yes. Okay, here we go. 
kick through, kick it up and over, kick through, up and over, kick through, up and over. Give it a nice tall kick if you can. Give it a nice tall donkey kick up and over. Feels nicer when you do that. Feels like you move from here. Good morning, Roman. 
Nice work, switch sides. Yeah, dad is up for work, honey. Here we go. No, honey, you left. Keep your focus, come on. Stay strong. Focus on your movement. There's all kinds of distractions in our lives. Ready? Here we go. Oh, 
goodness. Okay, focus. Abs are tight. The tighter you keep your core, the better your balance will be. Those weights are staying close to your leg. Come on, 15 seconds, stay strong. You got it. Last one. Okay. Whew. Sit throughs. Okay, let me just get these weights out of the way. Stay up in that crab position. Hold it for a beat. Squeeze those glutes. Sit it through. Squeeze. Sit it through. Squeeze. Trying not to round my back. It's really a challenge. Back is straight. Your abs are tight. When you're sitting through, your butt should not hit the ground. Okay. This is our last hip move. It's alternating single leg pistol squats. I'm just moving this mat right out of the way. Here we go. Make sure you have enough room to go down. And up. If you don't have a box to jump up on, go for a single leg tuck jump. Or you can do those pistol switches that I've been trying to get better at. Until I hit 50. 
Okay. Ten more with the weight. Let's go.
Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, we did it. Nice work. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Let me know what you liked. And I'll see you next time.